Hey, this is Mr. Warden. I'm going to solve a few systems of equation so by graphing them. I'm going to use this CUDA worksheet as a place uh, where I can grab some quick uh, problems to work with. You'll notice that these are all uh, slope-intercept form systems. Uh, let's see, and I may pause the video and find some that are, um, yeah, all of these are slope-intercept form. So I'll probably pause it and find some that are standard form as well, since that's another type that you'll be dealing with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start plotting things that I can plot. So I have I have a slope and I have a y-intercept. So I can quickly plot the y-intercept. That's a 3. Okay. And I'm going to have a slope of negative 5 thirds, which means I'm going to go down 5 and over three, and so I can plot another point there. And so I'll have a line that will go through those two points that's gonna be kind of like that. That was the most amazing straight line you've ever seen drawn, I know. It's amazing. Now, we're gonna take, oops, wow, that was not supposed to happen like that, so let me get it back to where it needs to be. Normally, this line stays with it. Okay. So now we've got this other line. This other line I'll use a different color for. I'll use green. So this one has a y-intercept of negative 3. So we plot negative 3. And then we can use our slope to plot another point. So that's a slope of 1 over 3. So up 1 over 3. And oh, how convenient that is. It ends up right on the other line. That's super convenient. So, in fact, if I had drawn that very well, the solution for this would be right here at 3, negative 2. So, the solution is 3, negative 2. That is the point of intersection that both lines share. However squiggly wiggly those straight lines ended up being, that is the solution to that system. Now let's check this other one. I'll stick with green for my first one. So again, we have a y-intercept of 3. y equals 4x plus 3, so I'll plot that. My slope is 4, which is up 4 over 1, but that's going to take me off the graph to somewhere around here. It's up 4 over 1. So I really I want to use neat and tidy grid lines I can find. So I'm going to go down 4 back 1 as well just to plot that. And I'll go ahead and pick another point here. It'll be useful for me when I'm drawing this line like that. So I am amazed at people who are able to do really cool artwork using these tools, uh, the tools of uh, writing on a, key, on a computer screen with a mouse pad. I know some people who do amazing stuff. So here we have negative x minus 2 y equals negative x minus 2. I'll pick a different color. We'll go back to blue. Okay, so negative 2 is the y-intercept. And our slope is negative 1, so down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And, of course, we'll go the other way as well. Up 1, back 1. Yeah, it looks like we cross right there. Up 1, back 1. And I can make a new line for that that goes roughly like that. And so our solution seems to be at this intersection point at negative 1, negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1 is a point that makes both equations true, which makes it a solution for the overall system. All right, I hope that helped. I'm going to pause for a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and find uh, a couple other examples. Now we're going to go to a new worksheet here that's in standard form, and I'm going to graph some things using standard form. So here I have, uh, maybe I'll pick one that's a little trickier than those. Yeah, we'll try these. Uh, okay, so we've got x plus 2y equals 4. Okay, so I can find the x and y intercepts for that one. I'll have an x-intercept at 4. So let's plot that. 
So an x-intercept of 4, because when, two y, when y is 0, 2y is nothing, so x will equal 4. So I'll plot that, 4, 0. And then if x is 0, 2y equals 4, so y equals 2. So I've got a couple of points for that one, and uh, it seems pretty clear that this is a negative 1 half slope, and you could actually work that out. I can go ahead and plot some more points that seem to clearly line up with those. And I'll go ahead and uh, graph my best effort with this mouse pad drawing tool, like that. That's getting a little better. Now we need to take a look at the other one. 3x plus 2y equals 8. All right, so I'm going to focus on a y-intercept because I can already tell the x-intercept is going to be messy. So if x is 0, 3x is nothing, so I've just got 2y equals 8, which means I'll have a y-intercept, 2y equals 8, the y-intercept will be 4. So there is a y-intercept. Now I'm going to use my cheat code for slope, which is negative a over b. And I will plot other points from the easy to plot point using the slope. So negative a, so a over b would be 3 over 2. So that would be 3 over 2. The slope would be 3 over 2, but it would be negative 3 over 2. So my slope is negative 3 over 2. So I go from this point and I go down 3. And I go over 2, and it looks like that's probably an intersecting point. I'm going to go ahead and get another point down 3 over 2. And I'm going to draw a line through these points very carefully. And it appears we have a solution right here at 2, comma 1. Okay. I will do one more. So I've got this one here, 5x minus 3y equals negative 12. I'm going to skip right over the 5 part because that's going to be messy because 12 divided by 5 will be uh, a number that's not as easy to plot. It'll be a fraction. It's doable because it's going to be halfsies. But it'll be easier to focus on the y-intercept because uh, when x is 0, 5x is nothing. And the y-intercept will get it from negative 3y equals negative 12. If I divide both sides by negative 3, y will end up being 4. So I'll have a y-intercept here at 4. And then I can use my slope. My slope is going to be the negative of 5 over negative 3, which means my slope is 5 over 3 for that one. So I can use that to plot. I can't go up that way because I'm going to run out of graphs, so I'll go backwards. So down 5, back 3. And so there I'll have another point for my line, and I can go ahead and roughly sketch my graph. If I were doing this on paper, I would insist upon a ruler. Now we'll take a look at 2x plus 3y equals negative 9. Um, I'm going to focus on getting a y-intercept because 3 ne negative 9 is divisible by 3. So when x is 0, 2x is nothing. So 3y equals negative 9. So y would equal negative 3. So let's get a different color for that. So my y-intercept is negative 3. And then I've got to figure out the slope. Well, it's the negative of a over b. a is 2, b is 3. So it's negative 2 thirds. So I'm going to have a slope of negative two-thirds for the second line. So that means I go down two over three, plot that point, and I can also backtrack up to back three. Looks like we have an intersection at negative three, negative one. Uh, so let's draw that line like that. And our solution for that one is going to be negative 3, negative 1. And that is a point shared by both lines, which means it's a 
an x set of x, y values that makes both equations true. Um, and so it is a solution to the system of equations. I hope that has given you a lot of what you need. Uh, please let me know if you need more.